Hey guys, welcome back to another SerpWiz report. My name is Deepak Shukla, co-founder here at SerpWiz, and today we're going to be talking about avoiding multiple page redirects. If you're coming to SerpWiz for the first time, check out the hat, head over to SerpWiz.com and you can get your instantly actionable free SEO audit um, in less than 37 seconds. So there you go. Today we're talking about, as it said, multiple page redirects. So um, I think that you're probably going to know what a redirect is. It's like going to one location and then being told, actually you need to go here. And, oh, but actually you need to end up here and it ends up being like redirect ping pong, which really slows down the page load, which impacts user experience, which therefore impacts SEO, okay? Potential savings of 190 milliseconds. So I need to, to be honest with you, understand why that's here but there's no instruction so um, that's um, something for us to fix uh, on on the dev side uh, so uh, why is this here but no no instructions or links uh, So that's that part there. So um, basically, um, let's jump into here to give you a better insight. And our tools, you know, we're constantly developing it. So I spot these things, I do the videos, and I'm like, okay, great. Um, so basically, um, this was updated in 2019. So redirect, slow down your page load speed, which is obvious. When a browser requests a resource that has been redirected, the server usually returns a HTTP response like this. Move permanently location path to new location. Okay, to new, that's the new location. It must make another HTTP request, and HTTP requests, if you're wondering what they are, let's just give it a quick Google. Work as the intermediary transportation method between a client application so um, and a server. The client application could be Chrome, the server would be wherever the site is, yeah? The client submits a HTTP request to the server, and after internalizing the message, the server sends back a response. The response contains status information about the request, um, and HTTP, to get the HTTP meaning, no. It is hypertext transfer protocol, hypertext transfer protocol in case you're wondering. So there you go. So we come back to the hypertext transfer protocol. I'm trying to remember that word now. Um, the browser must, you know, this, this, these trips basically delay the loading of a resource by hundreds of milliseconds. So um, audit fails when there has two or more redirects. So I was having this problem the other day. How to eliminate it? Point links to flagged resources to the resources current location. So if you've got a resource that's pointing to here, but then it's actually moved to here, then you want to point from here all the way to there to go direct instead of going that way, instead of going that way, and then that way. Okay. So if it used to be here and then it moved to here, uh, sorry, here, then you, instead of going instead of going that way to that way, you want it go, you want it to go direct to that way. Okay. I hope that that makes sense if you're looking at me. If you weren't, don't worry about it. But um, it's important to avoid redirects and resources required for your critical rendering path, okay? That's when you're getting the damn page to load. If you use a redirect to divert mobile users to the mobile version of the page, just redesign your site to make it responsive, okay? We've got stack specific guidance for React here, uh, but we'll give it a Google. Um, you shouldn't really, most people shouldn't really have this problem as much, but I Googled it just to see what else comes up. Let's accept that. Avoid multiple page redirects. Um, error, too many redirects. So it's always good just to look at the titles. Um, how to eliminate red redundant redirects. Um, redirecting with Apache. Uh, okay, is there anything that's perhaps uh, easier for the non-technically minded like myself? Well, look, there's insights here with Apache, with Nginx, I don't even know if that's how you pronounce it. Redirecting HTTP to HTTPS, redirect www to non www. Uh, let's see what the conclusion says. There are a plethora of reasons for page redirects, redirects, change website structures, deleted pages, new domain names, resource utilization. Um, I think I agree with all of that. Um, how to avoid it, redirection best practices, favor server side, web, web server applications versus client side, which is the HTML JavaScript. So client side redirects. Um, server side redirects, so favor server side redirects, so the server redirects, so the redirect happens here rather than the client side if you're going to do it. Um, so that's one thing, say no to client side, as they are slow and non-cacheable may not be supported by browsers, say no to that. 
avoid landing page, minimize redirect chain. So redirect chain is a good one. When you move a page and then it moves again, just cutting out the loop, we discussed that. Periodically review your redirects, that's true also. Um, remove temporary re redirects if not needed anymore. Um, combining multiple redirects into a single redirect is the most effective way to increase web, improve web performance, I agree completely. Um, setting them up. Uh, avoid multiple page redirects. Uh, this is a Webflow forum. So there you go, guys. Um, I hope that gives you some insights into the area of avoiding multiple page redirects. Although I wonder um, in WordPress what uh, what the advice is. I know my developer does this. Here we go. Um, this is SEO Optima. Uh, they're our competitor. Nice guys. Um, result in uncrawlable landing pages, bad user experience, direct access to non-HTML resources, properly intimate the trailing slash, trailing slash on WordPress using rewrite rules. So some, some quite good advice here in general. So I hope that, that makes sense, guys. Uh, catch you in the next one.